His name is Sebastian Michael, Slip and Slide artist, doing it real big over there. What's going on with you, Sebastian Michael? I'm chilling. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. You sound real chill. I am super chill right now. I'm okay. just, uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, about to go into this rehearsal, so I'm just like, you know, chilling right now. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Well, real quick though, you one of the newest artists on our Slip and Slide records and things like that, and um, you got this hot record. Called last night with Wale on there. You want to uh-huh. tell everybody a little bit about it? How you and Wale got on the track and tweets from Alby Shore came about. You want to let everybody know a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, we actually started with the Alby Shore sample. I remember um, we, we cut the record in Miami, and uh, basically, you know, I walked in the studio um, with these two producers named Big D and Lamb, amazing producers. Uh, and they had the sample, like the Alby Shore sample, and they showed me the uh, concept and everything. And from there, we just kind of built the song. Like, we finished the whole song that day and everything. And when I first heard it, I wasn't too familiar with the sample, but then, like, I just liked it because I, I love that, you know, older type of sound, like that throwback 90s, 80s sound. So I just fell in love with that. And then from there, you know, we, the vibe was just good. So we built the whole song that day. And uh, basically, the, the day after, uh, the song got sent to Wale, and, uh, you know, he heard it, and he sent back his version, like, that same day. Wow, so, working. Yeah. So he was like, Yeah, it was, it was dope, because, you know, we, we felt like when we made the track, we was kind of like, yo, you know, you know, Wale would actually sound dope on this track, uh, you know, had his type of sound on it, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that he heard it and, and, and loved it and, like, wanted to be part of it was so cool, so. That's what it is okay. right there. Last night we gonna get in, we gonna get into it again and get your official introduce it. But real quick, I was like I said, I was doing a little research and I found out that you are originally from Sweden, but then you came to the U.S. to do music in school or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so and um, I want to know like in Sweden is how's the music over there? It's like. Are you doing R&B? Then you come over there like how's that? Is it the same R&B over there? Like. Now, that's a good question. Like, honestly, you know, it is, like, especially now, it's a lot more than it used to be because, you know, the Internet, like, you know, right now we we're in the world of, you know, a digital world was like everything. You get introduced to everything right away. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have, you know, you know, rappers, singers, and all types of genres coming out of, you know, just random places. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's just so spread out and, it, you know, mixed. But you know, when I when I was growing up, it was it was mainly pop and rock music, huh? and it's still today like on radio and stuff. It's mainly pop and rock music. But the thing is, like you know, uh, my parents my parents were just music lovers. Like they they had they they were listening to so much different music, and a lot of it was R and B and soul. So growing up, I was just you know introduced to that. You know, my, my parents introduced introduced me to that, and uh, and from there, I just kind of like it just got stuck. I was just curious and. And um, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to be a part of, because I've always been a creative person. Like I come from a, from a, like an art background. Like my parents do art, and, and I used to paint as a kid and stuff. So I always, you know, want, I always been creative. So, you know, listening to all those styles and stuff made me want to be part of that creation and create that music as well. So, okay. that, that's really how it got started. Okay, and then because I was like, okay, so you, you when you was born, you was you had to learn English. Yeah, well, you know, Swedish is my first language, so definitely, you know. Uh, um, it's not like I had to learn English when I first came here. I already knew how to speak English, but it's, you know, I mean, you know, obviously it's like the, the English that we learn in school is, is a little, like, for example, we're, we're closer to, you know, the UK because, you know, we're in Europe. So mm-hmm. we kind of learn that English, but then we're so, you know, we're, we're, we get the same shows, the same media basically in, in Europe that you guys have over here. So, so we just go up listening to the same music, you know, watching the same shows on TV and watching the same movies and everything. So we kind of, you know what I mean? So we kind of get just introduced okay. to it. But, and that's how, I, that's how I first really just, um, not learn how to speak English, but that's how I first was just like basically introduced to the coach over here. Okay. You know, coach over here, whatever. But, you know, I've been over here for six years, so, you know, I kind of just had to adapt and, and adjust. Okay. Them really. Well, I'm glad you adapted. I'm, I'm glad. So people might, like me can understand what you're saying. That's what's up right there. Um, so Super <laughs> Slide, how did this whole situation come about? Um, you know, we uh, when I was in college, we was putting out a lot of music, like YouTube videos and stuff like that. And um, a 
basically we, we put out a mixtape that um that just you know started getting a lot of attention especially in the college market you know in, in boston like on the east coast and stuff and uh, a and r from supply actually saw the video we had and uh he flew us down for meeting and stuff so you know from so there, off uh, of youtube is have, how you got yeah mm-hmm. oh absolutely youtube is is like my start like that's that's really how i got started if I could sing, I would get on YouTube right now, but I can't. So that's why I DJ. Okay? So <laughs> are you chilling right now. Can we go ahead and go ahead and get into this last night? And right now, we got more Sebastian Michael. It's the Urban Experience. Do you think, Sebastian? All right, no doubt. What's up? This is Sebastian Michael. I'm introducing my new single, Last Night, featuring Wale. Check it out. Slip slide collab. Let's get it. What are you talking about? No, I've been a Roma, but let me call you out. Well, you put your crown, you got a little style. Let me put it down until you walking on the cloud. Look, the time's now. I'm intrigued. Whenever I browse, I'll be sure you get things. Yeah, see what I did there? Slip and slide on the body until she get there. I can't lie. You wanna know if we can make this confidential? All right, so he said he want to, you know, make sure it's confidential, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you told us how the record came about, but the lyrics, was it a real na- last night situation? How it happened, Sebastian? Keep it real. This is the urban experience, okay? Like the concept, <laughs> is it a real situation or you just painting a picture? Of course it's a real. Everything I write always comes from my own experience and my own, you know, a real situation. Basically, that how that record came about, like, this is what we're singing about, or where I'm singing about, whatever, what the concept is. You know, we just, everybody in the studio had a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, one of those nights or whatever. You know what I mean? And everyone had a story, and that, just, that was just the topic in the studio. Because, you know, we always talk, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? We always we always having fun talking, you know, in the studio or whatever. And that was just the top, you know. Okay. Oh, that, okay. So it was a topic that led to a hit song. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. Exactly. Y- y'all check out the video. It's on SoUrbanEntertainment.com. See the not, the light skin R and B male singers is coming back, ladies. I love it. I told them off the line. I, I'm gonna tell it right now. It's the urban experience. Okay. So um, you put out an a EP, a door. That's what you know got you to the YouTube. Got Slip and Slide and also getting paying attention to you and things like that. So from that EP to the new project that you're working on and new material that you're working on, what's going to be the big difference? The big difference is, I mean, this time it's definitely going to be, I've grown so much as an artist, so, so obviously the quality of it, you know what I'm saying, the songs on there, everything, it's just going to be, it's going to be on another level. Like, I, you know, Jador is a mixtape that I'm really proud of, but when I put that out, um, I came from the background where I was like, I started writing and producing, so... A lot of those songs were, weren't meant to be for me. Like, I was trying to pitch records, shop records for other artists. And, 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 and a lot of those tracks didn't go through, so I just kept them for myself. So that mixtape was, like, all over the place. It had EDM, like, pop songs. It had soulful songs. Like, it was all over the place. But this album, I've grown so much as an artist, and I really found my sound. So this is just really going to show okay. who I am as an artist and everything. So it's definitely a big difference. Okay, do we got a name for it yet or not yet? Yeah, it's called Speechless. Speechless, and you said it's going to come out top of 2014? Yep, 2014. All right, now, I got this, and you know, you with Slipper Slide, Slipper Slide, you know, they can make things happen. You know what I mean? So, you got any dream collaborations that you would like to collab- collaborate with, with either on this project or sometime in the future? Man, I'm I'm honestly trying to, like, try to get in with J. Cole okay. for this project because, you know, we're still... I have not closed yet, you know, so oh. we're still, like, it's still in the making. Definitely, like, J. Cole, um, even Drake would be dope, you know. Oh, Alicia man. Keys is definitely a dream collab. She's, oh. like, always been a dream collab. For me. Yeah, that's my sister. Oh, One of my favorite R&B artists right there. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. And, um... Let me see. Before you get everybody the contact information and things like that, and let her, you play the guitar, you know, and I'm telling you, when you play the guitar, like, you, you know... You love your guitar. It look like you take your guitar everywhere with you. So first, how long you been playing it when you started playing your guitar? I started when I was like 12. It was actually my first instrument. I started when I was like 12, 13. And um, yeah, you know, that, that, that actually got me interested and in, in started singing as well. And, that, and that's your baby right there. You got a name for it? 
<laughs> you know, it's funny people keep asking me that. You got well, a name I, for I think it. We actually, I think we actually named it when we, we was in North Carolina because we was at a station and uh, um, they they called in and, and uh, had a few name options for it. I, th- I can't remember what the name was, though. I, I feel bad for that. I so what, what the this the Urban though, Experience. It, Give it a new name. It, named it, and I can't remember what the name was. It name. So, well, I mean, give it a new name. It's Urban Experience. It's a new show. It's another show. Give it a new name. New name. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Put you what's, on the spot. What's, what's your name? What's your name? Some more. Let's, let's name it some more. Oh, see, you know what? Let, we need to get you off the line right now. Okay, Um, go ahead. <laughs> get everybody your contact info, how they can connect with you, and, you know, Twitter, Facebook, you know, Instagram, without, all of that. Without, uh, follow me on Instagram at Sebastian Michael, like K-A-E-L, uh, Twitter, Facebook, same name, you know. I always follow back, by the way. So definitely hit me up. Yeah, yeah. You ain't following me back yet, but it's all right though. You know. I did follow you. I, oh, you did. You did. I've been. Ch- I'm, I'm gonna check it right when when we go into your song again. <laughs> Talking about something, you follow back. We gonna see. We gonna see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. All right. So the um EP top of 2014. Right now, we just got last night going on. Yep. So um, what you what you got going on right now? I know you said again rehearsal. Are you on tour? What's going on with you right now? Um, yeah, well, we, we've been on the promo tour, but I had to um, kind of like, not put it on to the side, but I just had to take a break and come back here and rehearse some. We just put together a new show, um, just getting ready for, for uh, hopefully a tour, you know, coming after this. And uh, we have a, a showcase with Hot 97 on Wednesday. So. Okay, so you in New you, you in New York right now? Yeah, yeah, in New York. Okay, we need to get you back to Florida so we can get you in the studio, okay? For sure. Already, so I appreciate you checking in, and um, let's go ahead and uh, rewind this track real quick and uh, introduce it real right, like how you did it the first time. Got you. Once again, this is Sebastian Michael. I'm introducing my new single, Last Night Featuring Wale, right here. Take it out. Let's get it. What he talking about? No, I've been a Roma, but let me call you out. Well, you put your crown, you got a little style. Let me put it down until you walking on the cloud. Look, the time's now. I'm intrigued. Whenever I browse, I'll be sure you get things. Yeah, see what I did there? Slip and slide on the body until she gets.